Hey, what's happening guys? It is Tuesday, August 17th. And tomorrow, I'm going to take Blake to college. So today we're back with the DIY multimeter, the M266 Kilo Revision 2.0. And we're on section E today, which looks like a pretty big section. So let's get down to it and get started with some soldering. All right, the first thing we've got is this socket here, IC3. We'll line up the notch in the socket with the notch on the board. Make sure our pins are all seated there. A little bit of blue tack to cement it in place. And we're ready to rock and roll. Do the opposite corners. And make sure it's all in there nice and good. Yep. She's sitting fine. So we can go ahead. And solder it the rest of the way in. Whoops, there you go. So we leave at 8 a.m. tomorrow for the 45 minute drive from here to Pittsburgh to the lovely suburb of Oakland, home of the University of Pittsburgh, where Blake will. I hope spend at least the next four years, probably the next eight. If you guys don't know, he is uh, planning to study physics. He wants to be a physics professor. And he is very excited to study under Professor Tay Min Hong, who previously was at the Atlas Project at CERN in Switzerland working on the Higgs boson. And these are the things that Blake really enjoys and, and is passionate about. So getting to study under this particular professor is the reason that he chose Pitt. Not just because it's where the old man went as well, but we like to think that had nothing to do with it. Okay. So that is... Uh, 14 pin socket and that is for IC3 the LM324 op amp and that's this guy we'll give it a real quick feel that's going to be too wide so we'll need our pin straightener so everybody has been very emotional about him heading off to college. Him, me, you know, his family, his mother's family, and much left of my family. Two old aunts. And of course my sister, her family, but I'm not really close with them. Still not right. So we move it to the tighter section. So I've been divorced since 2008, and it wasn't a, a mean divorce or anything. Still friends with his mother. She's remarried. I'm not foolish enough to ever do anything like that again. There we go. And uh, since we've been divorced, Blake and I, or Blake, my his mother and I have shared... Uh, joint custody, Blake just comes and goes whenever he wants, so. Alright, resistor 45, 150 ohm. Anyway, what I was getting at is he has been here <laughs> Why don't I see 45? 
All right, 29, 28. Oh, there it is, 45. Since he was a little kid, he has been able to go between my home and his mother's wherever he wants. We don't really say anything about it. So generally he would spend, you know, three days one place, four days the other place. And just, you know, whatever he, whatever he wanted to do, we didn't make any issues for him. And I had to tell him this morning, yeah, he left my house just a little bit ago. And he's going to go visit uh, his maternal grandparents before he goes off to school tomorrow. And I told him, I told myself as much as him, I said, this was not the last night you're spending with me. You're just going off to school. Yeah, he's really nervous. I know you guys don't need to hear all this crap, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. What's really neat is uh, we got five UPS shipping labels to use however we wanted to uh, send stuff up there. So all of his clothes and his bedding are already in his room waiting. <laughs> or, or so they tell us. And when we get there in the morning, they'll be there. So all we really are taking is his electronics, um, guitar, amp, other stuff like that. So that, that was really nice is what I'm getting at. And he's doing this early thing for freshmen where he goes to school tomorrow. The rest of the people, well, him and uh, I think the 80 other people in this program go tomorrow. And then everybody else comes on the 26th. So this section of the board that we're working on is the... Um, capacitance and transistor testing circuit and there's a look at this part of the circuit using those op amps to work out the gain of the transistors and capacitance so next we're on to a c14 here which is 103 mylar There we go, 103, so where are we at here now, I did R47, 46, and that's C14, now we got to do R48, which goes there. That's a hundred and sixty K ohm. Pair the resistor and get her ready. Sorry, this has taken all summer to do. It's been crazy. Getting him ready. to go off to school has been something else. But I thank you guys for bearing with me. Between that and, you know, the grief over losing my mother, I know I haven't been myself this summer. I apologize and I will try and do better. 
All right, let's get some soldering going on in here, huh? Get this road on the show, as they say. This has been a uh, a nice, distracting kind of project to do. I've always found that with soldering, it just kind of takes my mind off the day to day, and you got to concentrate on this 100%. The only thing's ever, I don't think they've ever done that, is flying. And unfortunately, because of my heart condition, I can never be pilot in command again. All right. Let me see where we're at. All right. Now we're moving on to this section here. D6, D7, two diodes. And if you look here, you can see little arrows on the board pointing in which direction the diodes go. Which is good because on this here, you really can't see the pictures that well. So D6, anode down, cathode up. D6, here we go. Now these are a little bit harder to work into place because diodes, as you know, generally have thicker legs than other components. So this is D6 with the cathode on the uphill side. And then we gotta do the same for D7 here with the cathode on the downhill side. There we go. Don't want to mess these up or you're going to be blocking your signals. All right, where's my attack? And we'll solder us in a couple diodes. Remember, since diodes have the thicker legs, they're going to soak up a bit more heat. So that's going to increase your dwell time. And remember, dwell time, heat on target, is the enemy of semiconductors. So either bump up your heat a little bit or do something so you're not exposing the circuits to too much. All right, I'm going to do these resistors here, and I'll be back. All right, we're going to put in these sockets here for the transistor testing, and there are the very, very nice rolled pin sockets. Now, it says here in the instruction manual, no more than 0.4 inches of height above the board. Otherwise, will not fit properly with the bottom case. So, let's see where we're at. Get the uh, micrometer. And we are at... 0.193, so 
so that can come up a little bit. Let's try this. That'll hold that there. Point three four four. I think that's probably reasonable. So let's get that locked in. Those are some long pins. Oh heck, you can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry, like I said, I've been I'm so distracted. Hopefully once we get them off to school tomorrow, it will be better. Okay, so there's one. There's the other one. And we'll just make sure they're even. And we'll get them soldered in. And I think that's going to be it for today. Because the next section is the final assembly. So we will do that next time. Sorry, I'm trying to get in here and get you a good view and I'm just dinging it up. All right. So, we're getting there. What's coming up in our final assembly? We will start by assembling the screen, label, case, yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Once we finish this, we'll be giving it away. If you'd be interested in receiving it, send me an email, arduino0169 at gmail.com, and you could be the lucky winner. That's it. I'm out. Peace.